que tal? I'm Sierra Lefay. Feel free to call me that or simply Sierra because I'm not really a fan of the nicknames. I'm sorry. But uh, I wanted to just jump on here really quickly and do this video because I've gotten a lot of new subscribers. So I wanted to make sure that I answer these new questions and address some of my old questions for my new and old subscribers so that everyone can learn something new about how I have been maintaining my heat train hair. And if you still have any more questions about my heat train hair, just leave them down below. Pero vamos a empezar. Number one, why do you heat train? So I've been heat trained since I was six and it's pretty much all I've known. I did go through a little phase in high school where I tried to go natural and my hair was just like not here for it nor was I. And I kind of actually ruined my hair quite a bit because my hair was so used to being maintained in the state that when I tried to wear it natural it was just like Mr. Krabs. Number two, what does your heat train hair look like when wet? I actually have a video which I'll link up here where I kind of show you guys in depth a little bit of my natural curl pattern. Now my hair has always been a really really tight wave but with the heat training it's just kind of helped to loosen up the wave a bit. Number three, how do you treat... <coughs> Number three, how do you heat train your hair exactly? So I'll have a video linked up here which I tell you guys pretty much all the products I use and the step by step of how I heat train my hair. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to leave them in this comment section or that video's comment section. Number four, do you do anything special with your hair care routine because you have heat trained hair? Yes. Um, I do a lot of things. I'm trying to read my notes real quick. So the two things that I mainly do is have a balance of moisture and a balance of protein. And I have a protein treatment. I'll link the video down below. I have so many videos about my hair. But I'll uh, have a video linked down below or right here. And then I also have uh, the exact protein treatment that I do because I do not use egg and mayonnaise. It's not a real protein treatment. But I try to do a protein treatment at least once a month so that um, my hair can be strong because I'm using a lot of heat and manipulating it and then the rest of the month the three weeks out of the month I use a deep conditioning treatment which uh, my favorite is the Miel Organics Babusu oil and I put that all over my hair after I wash it and I make sure to sit under a hooded dryer for at least 10 minutes so that way the product is actually being penetrated through my scalp because I mean through my hair shaft because heat allows for penetration into the shafts as opposed to you just letting it sit. Now I just feel like I'm rambling. Also I try to always make sure I use a heat protectant. At the moment I do not have one so lately I haven't been using one but that is a no-no. Always make sure to use a heat protectant before you blow dry and before you flat iron. And then last I do try to take breaks from heat. Uh, I try to do at least three month periods throughout the year. This year I like to do a little bit more breaking from heat just because I'm really lazy. I've had to deal with my hair literally for a year straight and I'm not used to that. But as soon as I get my first little paycheck, I'm sorry Sally Mae, but I need to go get a sew-in so that I can just have a break from my hair because I'm over it right now. Next question is, what heat setting do you put the flat iron on? So I usually keep it on 375 and I will link a similar flat iron that I use down below. But I feel like that's the temperature that gets my hair the straightest and keeps it straight where I don't have to do constant uh, touch-ups. Next question, will your hair revert back eventually to its original curl pattern? Simple answer, basically the only answer is no. Will you ever try to go 100% natural? Like I mentioned before, I tried it, well not really, but I tried to wear my hair more in a natural state and it was just like no bueno, so... It's enough. Next question. Any specific products you like to use for your heat trained hair? I'll have that video linked up here. I have, I think it was five or six products that I really, really love at the moment for my heat trained hair. And I will also have those products linked down below. Next question. How often do you wash your hair? Um, it varies. Last year was completely different because I was in a different country. This year I'm trying to wash my hair once every two weeks. Next question. How long do you keep your hair straight for? So I just keep it straight until my next wash day. After I've done my hair for that day I don't like to be bothered with it until it's time for me to wash my hair again so I would say about a week and a half to two weeks is how long I keep my hair straight for. Okay that's it for all the questions be sure to check the description box for everything that I've mentioned in this video including products that I love to use for my heat trained hair and if you still have any more questions feel free to leave them down below or in any of my other videos related to heat trained hair and until the next video. I want to thank me for doing all this hard work 